guys, this is Denise Cinerata, and I am with Simply Love Soaps. We are going to be test batching fragrance that is called Sex Bomb, which is a lush type. There's no vanillin, and it has a greater than 200 uh, degree flash point, which is good. And um, we're going to be using the heat transfer method. And I think for this soap, we are going to create a very bold and vibrant soap. Um, I think we're going to do that because, you know, when you think of a sex bomb goddess, you know, you're thinking of someone who is bold and, you know, very self-confident and just sassy. So we're going to add in my life solution. Just going to stir that around. To get that to melt down a good bit, I have colloidal oatmeal and kaolin clay in this soap as well. I am using aloe vera water instead of regular distilled water. I'm trying to decide if I like better than regular water or, you know, whether or not I want to continue using the aloe vera. I'm just stirring and mixing, trying to uh, help get some of these bigger chunks melted down and to help mix up some of that kaolin clay. I'm seeing some clumps. Hope you are having a great day. It has been a busy day for me. I have been soaping and soaping like crazy. My poor shirt has so many colors on it right now. It's ridiculous. But I'm, I have been so messy today. But you'll see those in the upcoming videos. But we are test, test batching the sex bomb. Um, I'm expecting with it being somewhat of a floral that it will um, accelerate. Well, let's see if I can find my notes on it. The, there we go. It is jasmine combined with clary sage and yingling. So I am expecting it to thicken up. I'm hoping to be able to get what I want to do done because I want to make a black soap base and then use um, the Nurture Soaps um, Raspberry Red Mica to create the bold color and then I want to use white with some of the French Vanilla White Shimmer or the French White Shimmer Mica Powder which I'm starting to love this. And I think that will make a bold but pretty soap. I'm thinking of... I don't think I'm going to do all equal color parts. I was thinking at first maybe doing equal color parts, but I think I'm going to have the black dominate. And then just... Uh, hopefully I can just chopstick swirl or do a drop swirl for the other colors. If it gets thick like my uh, Salty Mariner did, then I'll have to spoon swirl it. I'm just trying to help this along.
my containers. Good bit of the pink. A little bit of the white, maybe a little more. Sorry, I know you guys can't see. Okay. Just adding my titanium dioxide. I'm going to add some of this French white shimmer. This beautiful pink, which is Nurture Soap's Raspberry Red Mica Powder. First, I'm going to start out with two heaping spoonfuls of activated charcoal. mixed up. to get as much of that up under the blade to try to keep it from puffing so much. And then grab some more. It's a fabulous black. Now this soap will bleed while using it, but you know, with an activated charcoal soap, that's kind of expected. Scrape that down. I'm just cleaning off my stick blender. fragrance. So far, no rising. Very nice. Very nice. Even with the titanium dioxide, it does not appear to be accelerating. Alrighty, let's see about getting this poured.
I'm just scraping it down. I'm sorry guys, I know you can't see. Just scrape, scrape, scrape. I want to get most of this black scraped in. I just want it kind of an accent for the top and not one of the main colors for that top. Talk about missing the mark on that. Wow. I told you guys I have been making a mess all day. Save that for the top. Let me grab my top stick. Wow, that was great, Denise. I'm just going to scrape the rest of this black. Fragrance oil behaved very well. Very pleased with it. And it smells good. black. All right, and last but not least, the white. Gonna pat it down. I'm gonna take and clean this up. Okay. Let's see.
And there we go. I don't think it needs any glitter. I think it's great the way it is. And let me take my gloves off so I can spray this bottle. And guys, that's it for today. I will be back tomorrow with the cutting. So thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a blessed day and be well. Good morning, everyone. I hope y'all are having a great day. This morning, we are going to be cutting Sex Bomb. Um, this is actually my third soap that I've cut this morning. And my first two, well, my first one was a big disappointment, but my second one was a little disappointment, so I'm hoping this one will be great. I've had an issue this morning with soap discoloration, which that's from the fragrance. So, I'm excited to see how this turned out. I wanted it to be bold. I think I got bold. Oh, look at that. That is bold, that's for sure. <laughs> this one I believe I'm not sure if I said the name of this soap but it's sex balm and so far so good there we go and these will clean up nicely once I uh, get them a little more harder I'll be able to uh, take the planer and smooth out the uh, sides and the bottom very nice. Look at the inverted heart. Very pleased with this one. This smells really good. So far this morning, this has been my favorite soap. I was a little disappointed on my first one. Very nice. Very pleased with that one. Sorry guys, my OCD is pretty bad today, I guess. <laughs> Let's cut some samples. guys that's it for sex bomb please if you're new to my channel please like and subscribe I would greatly appreciate it um, and share if you like I'd greatly appreciate that as well thank you for watching y'all have a blessed day and be well